Hello everyone, welcome. Before the video starts, just want to point out for the pack rack achievement, there are seven of these inventory upgrade slot bags around the whole game. Uh, unfortunately, they're random. There's three bags that are static, so basically they never move from that location, but then the rest of them will just move into a specific place. So you will always have like, just say for instance, you have a bag in the quarters, you have a bag in prison, you will have a bag in maintenance. Even if you see me pick up a bag you haven't got, there's definitely 100% going to be a bag in that specific area, just in a different location. Just keep an eye out. Right, so for your first note of Amnesia the Bunker, is as you wake up into this room here, go into the next room and you'll find a note on the table next to the typewriter. So now this is from the last location, as we leave the doorway, go right around the corner and you'll see an open door to the left. Once you go in, open this door here, or the cupboard, and you'll find two items. There's a be like a gas mask filter thing. There's a flashlight, okay. And then we'll find the um, note located here as well. 9th of July, 1700 hours. So now for the next note, and there is a photo, but I'm not even too sure if this is actually part of the game to collect, but we're going to do it anyway. As soon as you come down the very dark uh, hallway, if you charge up your flashlight here, then on the left side you see a door, open that door, and there'll be a photo here on the side. I'm assuming it is collectible based, and it is. Sweet. And then for your next note, this will be located in this drawer here. And also, if you want to check in there, there'll be some fuel as well. And now for note number four and five, this is located once you have your gun and then you shoot the lock off the door. And then the only way you can actually go down here is into the admin room. You can go left if you want to investigate, but it's no point. But once you go into the admin room, you'll get an achievement for entering this place. Then on the table, you will find some dog tags. Then on the same table, you'll find a note. And then for the next one, if you want to go right, oh, it's gone dark again. And then on the table here, you will find your next note as well. So now this will look a bit weird because this is like literally the end of the game. I forgot to record this map. But anyway, this map is going to be inside the safe room. You will pretty much click on this multiple times, so I don't really need to show you, but. Just to make sure, I'm going to show you anyway. So the map consists of the central bunker and the officer quarters. So there's four additional maps throughout the whole bunker section. And now for the next collectible. Is as we go down the steps into the generator room. You'll need to turn the generator room anyway. But to the right side before you enter this doorway. Really nothing important in here apart from fuel. But you'll find the note located just there. Basically, it's telling you don't be a dumb dumb if you go. Nine seven four seven. And now, next to that body where the previous dog tag was, just look on the uh, table here and look in one of the drawers to the left, and you'll find this next note. Keep the light on. And now once you get back into this area where the save point is, well this is like your safe room type thing, then you enter the right combination. This will be seven, no, 9747 like I said on the dog tag. This, as we leave this area, you'll see a dark corridor to the left. Ignore that for now. Go to the right where it's all light. And you'll find the note located on the table here. Alright, so now note number eight, or whatever that this note may be. In the last location of the previous note, just follow the uh, signs to the right side. And then eventually you'll need to crawl through this crawl space to unlock this door and the other door on the other side. But to save time, I'm just going to go through the main door. 
the way, but yeah, but basically you'll be coming through that vent, dropping down here, and then there'll be a note located near these lockers. Ninth of July. I do not know the time, but dusk. And now for the next two notes we're going to find and the next photograph. So once we leave the um, the locker area down there to the right, we're going to come back up and go down this way. And go into the officer's quarters and maintenance room. So the first door on your left will have two notes and a photograph. So let's close this door just for safekeeping. You never know what might come behind us. And then you will find the photograph right here. It's that one right there. And you'll find the note on the table. I think that's the current note because it's glowing up. And then the other note is located in the drawer. Then that's the next one. Go away, leave me alone. And now for the next two notes and a photograph again. So leave the doorway. Hopefully the scary thing's not out there. I keep hearing things, but I haven't actually seen him yet. So as we go through this doorway here, be careful of that door. It's got a grenade attached to it. But in this doorway here, you will find the photograph. Maybe that one here. Then the next note, which will be this one here, Roman's Tunnel Update. And then the last note for this area will be located next to the convenient scary hole place. But it's located in this drawer. Here goes nothing else. And this will be the prisoner in custody. The game is so much better with no sound, so I don't actually know when he's coming. It's not as scary either. So now, on the last location of the previous note. Feel free to unlock this door as well, because you never know. So go in the corridor and go left. And then you'll see like two barrels here and there's a small box that you need to move out the way to gain access to a very, very, very small door space. Now, as we proceed inwards, we will find a carry bag located here. This will also give you some more space in your inventory, so you don't have to keep going back to the storage. It should be located right here. I already picked it up, but it's right here. And then you will find the note on the table. There is nothing else in these doors. Just double check me, because I'm not going crazy. And then that will be your note for this area. So now from the last location, do a 180, unlock the door, go through, turn this light on to make this place a little bit safer. <coughs> Excuse me. Go to the right and go left. And then you want to go through this doorway right here. Be very careful for this because it's very the dark room. So what I've done here is put something on the wall there so the little creature can't get me. And then once you go in the room, there will be two notes. The note on the table itself. Then shooting the beast. And then in one of the drawers on the same table will be your next note as well. Increase security in on Arsenal. So now also the last photo of this section here will be my end. Well, I mean in this area, one room that is, I mean not the whole game. There we go. So now for the next two notes. In the last location, head out the room and go left. Unfortunately, this door is locked. The only way you can get through it is by bashing the door down or using a heavy object that is, or you just blow it up. At the moment, I haven't found any heavy objects that I can bash it down, so I'm going to blow it up with a hand grenade. So let's go back and go grab the hand grenade. I've already got one, but I want to show you where I grabbed it. Well, in the area that I grabbed. I can't remember exactly what shelf it was on, but I can still show you kind of where it was. Let's go into the mission storage. So in this area, we've already been here once already. But this is the area where we need to get the, uh, the crank here or the handle. 
but on one of these shelves you will find a hand grenade. Hopefully you haven't used it already. If you have, then you might have to... Uh... There's one right there. I didn't notice that. So there's probably two in this room then. So now once we've got that hand grenade, we're now going to go all the way back. Oh yeah, make sure we uh, turn the lights off. I know this may be a stupid idea, but I think it's safe. So we don't want to waste fuel when we don't need to. I think I'll waste a lot of fuel anyway, but... Since I'm trying to find these damn notes. So now let's head back all the way to the door. So this will, this door will have gas on the right side of it. So we cannot avoid that. Unless we just bash it down. So I'm going to wing it. I know where the two knights are already. So I'm going to wing it. And just go in and grab them quickly. So let's go baby. So as soon as you enter. Look right and look on the locker here. <laughs> Leave. And that's the first note in that room. Second note is located in this left drawer. So we've got to put, run in there. Pick up the note, run out. And yes, there's probably an easy way to get inside here, but I just wanted to grab these notes and get them over and done with. Like I said, you can use a heavy object just to destroy the door if you want to, but that does make a lot of noise, so there's a hand grenade. But either one, we've got them both. So now for the next note from the gas area that we've done the two notes previously. Continue on as normal, avoid the stairs, be careful of the trap. We don't want to trigger this just in case we have to run for something. I haven't ran away from it yet, um, but it has got me through one of the holes. But once we come down here, there will be a dog tag here that we can pick up. Look at the back, see if anything important. And there isn't. So now head down to the left. It could be like a locker area. And then you'll find your note located on this crate here. So now as you pick that note up, we now want to backtrack now slightly. Head back up the stairs and go right and try to avoid the trap, if you can. So this will be the story mission progression. That dog tag that I forgot to pick up, what do you see? So the code will be 2967. So now let's head back to the mission story that we've already been. So let's turn this light on now. And head back into the mission story. Now in this room here, there will be another dead guy that I completely didn't see. Pick up his dog tag as well and make sure you check the back of it. 3973. But then here's the photograph that we wanna I wanna show you mainly. That'll be right here. And then we need to unlock that anyway, since we've got the objective, and we can now unlock this locker as well. So now once we have now gotten the emergency lockdown lifted, there's three doors that open, one to the left, and there's two here. So where we need to go is into the soldiers quarters dash communications. Because that's where we need to go because we can't go to the arsenal just yet because the doors locked by combinations. So as we head down into the quarters, be careful of the um, the big looking rat thing. But as we go into the darkness, you will find a light switch here. Pull that and as you can see, Right next to you, the attention, you'll see a note. So now from the last location, you want to go carry on down the corridor now. Be careful of the trap. Let's turn some lights on, we might need them at some point. If you want to get to the end of the corridor now, you want to go right into the security section. So as soon as you go past that wall, go right again and into the bedroom section. So here there will be some rats at the very bottom and there will be a total of three notes and a dog tag located where the rats are. So go about halfway down this bedroom section, go right into the locker, or not into the locker, but you'll find your first note and gas. So this will be the unsent letter. Now from here, go to the left, go a bit further up where the rats are, you'll find your next note. This will be the journal part one. 
and now go literally right next to where the rats are on the left. So let's get some light, but I can't see anything. Stay to the left. And pick up the note here. This will be the final note for this section. And now let's try and get this damn dog tag. If I was you, I would use the grenade to get the um, achievement for killing multiple rats, but I already got it, so I'm not going to do that. So what I want to do is try and get these rats away from this body. It takes a while for the grenade to actually take effect, but before it actually takes effect properly, we want to go in there and grab the dog pan and get that. <coughs> So now we're back at the main attention thing. So now we're going to get the photo number six and note number 23. So starting from the action switch again, or the doorway, go down all the way to the end of the corridor, mining the trap. I need to take my time for this section because the, um, the creature is pretty active in this area. So go to the left and pick up this cement block or wherever it is. We need this to break down the door because it's locked. But doing this though will aggro the creature. I'm also moving very slow. Just because I don't want to aggro him just yet. So, one throw, you'll, you'll be quite quick as well. And two, break the door, remove this. Stick it here. Because he will be aggro now because he's got a massive noise. So open this. Here he is. Grab the note. Hide in the corner. This will be your note number 23. Then also you should get the achievement right here for uh, vanquishing the demon. So now since he's been blown up, it'll go away for a little bit now. So in this um, dark room, you'll see there's a photograph on the side here, and then there'll be like many things that you can pick up. In here will be shotgun shells. So have a good look around before we leave. And that'll be it. So now from the last location where we've got the photo, leave that room, go directly straight, and then go past the communication. Now we'll go into this very small bedroom with here another sort of bedroom then you'll find your note located here the first one now your next note this should be a key for the main objective grab that the next note would be here next to a dog tag there we go we've got another combination 9th of that's July our next night note name my conscience and then for the final thing in this room is the photograph located on the bed right here we go for the next note and photograph so in this room there will be a cement block lucky enough the only annoying thing that I'm playing this muted so you don't hear the games going in the background so I don't know when the enemy is going to come and get me. Hopefully it doesn't get me during this sequence because I'm not going to run too fast. But if I do see him, I will run somewhere else. I haven't really figured out yet how I'm going to dispose of the enemy um, when we break this door down because we will make a noise. So here we go. One. Two. Three, baby. Take the map. On the side here, the photograph, and that photograph will be this one here. Uh, there he is. Then that will be the next note as well. Alright, so now for the next three notes. Since we have the communication key, we're now going to head into that room. If you're not too sure where the key is, this is located in this area underneath the hat. But I've already showed you, so hopefully you didn't miss it. So 
So I was going to run here, but we have to do a certain thing where um, it's going to make some noise and Mr. The, Mr. Ratty will be very angry. So let's open this door. Close it. Get some more light. I wish this light lasts a bit longer. Right, so in this room here, there will be a total of three notes. One on the table as soon as you enter the communication area. This is called Note to Faba. Right, next one's on the table. And then, and then he dies, apparently. Now the next one is going to make a noise. So let's get this hiding closet ready. So shoot this. You'll find a note inside with someone else. Let's quickly hide. And look at this note. So that's part two of the journal. So I'm going to start back at this switch again. It says attention. So you're currently in the communications area. So that's that, it's that door in front of you. So head down this corridor, head through this door. If not, then you have to go out this door, go turn to your right, go for that door over there. But for me, luckily, this door's been blown up. And go across the way. This will lead you into the communication sector where you can actually turn on the power for that room. Like, I should have done this first, but I didn't realise at the time. But whoops-a-daisy. So this is the part where we've got to try and deal with these rats. But before we do that, we're going to pick up this note. Or oh, the photograph, I should say, not a note. Now, once we're here, we now want to deal with these rats. So I'm going to throw them. I don't really know where to go, really, with this. I don't know what the distance is, either, for these rats to go. Is that working? Right, solid. We're gonna go, we're gonna do it to our second time now. Then we're gonna do the gas grenade because I've been trying for so long with this level now. Well, this section. So I keep dying, but it, it, it takes a lot of time just to get to places because I have to go slow and then. Right. So now, well, I will take damage. But we've got the photograph here. We're now gonna get the. Um, the dog tag on the floor here. Make sure you look at the back. You probably want to look at the back when you're not actually in the gas, but never mind. Now, as you're in this room, you want to go around the side here now. Then once you shoot this lock, you're going to need to hide. Because big boys come in. I think he's going away now. Yep, he's gone, baby. Right. Now, since he's gone, just take your time, because he will come back very quickly. But in this room here, there will be a power source here that we need to flick. And then there will be some health and your notes located right here. So go to the very bottom, and that will be the officers has fled. And also the photo we just got as well, I already showed you, but that's what the what we got. So now, once we have cleared from that monster, grab this cement thing or block or the heavy block we need anyway. Now we're going to take it around. Whoa, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. I might have just kill myself doing this. Right, so now this door here. Let's smash this door, then quickly go hide. Because as soon as we hide, there will be a note located in this hiding place. There we go. So now we are back at the attention thing again. 
So before we actually leave this area and go elsewhere, we want to go back into this room because I just noticed a uh, another note located on this bed. And that note will be down here. The um, me well the world. So now once you head back to the main admin area, so the safe room. So since we have two codes, we're going to go back to the locker room to activate the codes or unlock the lockers. So let's run there now. Uh oh, this is not good. This is not good. Not good, good. Right, so now. Once we're here, there will be two doors. The first one's going to be the important one. So this will be the this guy here. So this code is, if I remember correctly, this is 2510. 2, 5, and 10. Here we get a photograph. And the photograph looks like that. Then down below, we get the document or the note. Eighth of July. Then it'll be that one there. Mid-afternoon. Joubert needs a scout for tonight. Routine. Then just to give a measure, I'm going to show you this locker as well. I can't remember this one, so I need to go back to the codes. 5961. So, 5... 9... 6, 1. Perfect. In here, we just get a full medic. Oh no, we get the gas mask. Ooh, I thought it was a medikit. And now this is like attempt number 20. This one's not being so good on me. But as we start in the admin room, we want to go to the arsenal now. So since we got all the necessary stuff now to proceed on a bit further inside, it makes more sense to go now. So I'm going to try something different now. I've been trying the same thing over and over again. It's not working. What's this thing? I'll use that. So what we're going to do here, come into this room here, but don't go in the tunnels because you, there's nowhere to go from there. But it's a good hiding spot though to go. So we're going to blow the door open. Oh, that didn't work out too well. But anyway, we're going to hide in here instead then, since we can't do what I was going to do. And just wait here for about, for about a minute or so. But of course, once the monster does get too close, we just look away or something. So when we know this coast is clear, we're going to quickly go in there and grab the photograph and anything we need, like the um, there's a map on the wall that we need to grab. We don't need to grab it, but it comes in handy. Right. It's not clear. I don't think it's clear. Oh, it is clear. Right, I'm not going to rush this one, because every time I die... So, the photograph's on the side here. This is what the photograph looks like. Now on the side here will be the map. And then we're going to grab some stuff. There's a gas grenade somewhere. I don't know where that's gone. There. It's normally on the table. It might have glitched or something. So now I think it's best for me to start here. Because well, once we got hit before on the previous clip. This is well for me it's now another day. So we went into this room here to find the map. And I believe it was a note or maybe a photo. So now from there, we're going to go into the main arsenal itself. So once you get the combination from the communication section, this is the combination if you want to see if it works or not. Right, I need to pick up this flare because they come in handy. I know where it is, it's just get into that point without dying. So this will come in handy for if I'm getting chased. Go through here. This is really handy, this part here, for a distraction. So I just need to remember where the damn grenades is. Grenades are here. Let's go over here. I think I just tripped that wire. No, I didn't. Right, 
you go away. I can't. And also, I can't hear nothing either. And since I'm doing a voiceover as I'm playing, I've got everything muted so you don't hear the game in the background. So I need to go where the rats are, really. So I'm going to push a flare here. I think the rats don't like this. I could be completely wrong. Here we go. Oh yeah, the dog tag. I'm an idiot. 2964. I know I'm safe here because of the uh, flare. So go into this back room here and you'll find your next... So before we leave, uh, once we picked up the dynamite from the main dynamite room or dynamite storage, there will be a locked door here that you can go in. Um, so the only way you can do it is by blowing the door up or busting it. But right there you'll see some medipack supplies if you need any. But I've already been here before. I haven't seen any collectibles. But if for some reason there is, I will just uh, put back in here another time during the video. Right, we're back in the safe room again. Made another manual save. Sure. We're now going to head to the maintenance area. So let's head there now. So what I'm going to bring with me, I'm going to bring a meat and a bottle just in case I somehow get the bad guy to come after me so I can distract him. So let's head to the maintenance bay. So we have to go through the um, this is quarters. The officer, oh, that's the one, the officer's quarters. I thought it was like the soldier's quarters for a minute, it's not. There's the maintenance. Try not to trip this off. I think I just did. Oh, no, I didn't. Sweet. So now, with this meat, I've, I've never had any luck with this meat yet. It doesn't work for me. Oh, my God, it's actually working. Quick. Quick. Yeah, we did it. It actually worked this time. So now we're in the maintenance bay. So the first door to the right of us, we're going to go and break down this door. This may get Mr. Big Rat person to come in. Come on. Hopefully he doesn't hear, because I can't hear nothing at the moment. Close this door. So in here, there will be a... There'll be a note and a map and a photograph. So there we go. So there's the note on the side here, and this note is called the rats in the Connard con section of the notes. Now, I am blind as hell. I know there's a photograph in here. Where the hell is it? Is it in here? I know I found one. That's what I'm I know I found one. There we go. And the photograph is in the cabinet, yeah, on the left. So now, as we're in the maintenance bay, once we go into this room and leave, we'll go directly straight and you'll see a lonesome rat that will trigger a, a trap off. But this time, quickly get the dog tags. Look at it, grab it, move back and hide. Because they're going to be a big fella, come out and investigate the noise now. Let's go back in here, close the door, and hide. So we're back at the um, place that the guy catch from fire, where the dog tag is. So now go to the foreman's quarter, go left and up the stairs. So here you're going to find three items. There's going to be a dog tag, a note and a photograph. So let's close this door. Let's open it ready to hide if I need to. So, dog tag on the table, make sure you look at this properly. That's the next combination. Photograph here. This is the photograph we just picked up. Oh. And then we find the note on the table here as well. This note is called Note to a Dead Friend. So now we're from the last location. We're going to find three dog tags now. Hopefully I can get to this place. But every time I get there, 
They either die by the rats or die by the big guy, or the big rat thing. So as we go down the stairs, go left and then take a left again. Feel free to investigate the areas you get any objects that might help you. Avoid the traps. The traps are very important that we might need to distract him with. So as we go into the workshop, this will be a very dark area. Unless I turn the light on. I haven't done that. There we go. So in the corner here, you will see there's a rat here. So I'm going to throw one of my poisons in this general area. I might have done that a bit too much. Whoops. There we go. So we grab the rat, we grab the dog tag on the body here, and the next one is inside the gas. Make sure you always check the back of them. Then the next one will be near the end of this corridor. Oh, why are you tagging before? You should be in the um. There we go. There we go. As soon as we leave, turn left, and we get another note as well. I need to try and find the hiding spot now. And the note we just picked up is where the pillbox key. Right, since I'm back at the safe room, and I do apologize for the jump cut back to the safe room, uh, since we picked up at least five dog tanks, we can now actually go and investigate some of the more lockers. In one of these, I already checked. There's a lighter that will come in very handy for me using different items because I'm used. I'm wasting a lot of items just to keep coming back and forwards. These damn rats keep getting me. I'm losing a lot of life as well. So let's go to the lockers. Let's lock myself. Oh, I'll lock myself in here first because he's out here somewhere. Right. So now. The first locker I want to go straight into is the one with the cloth because I've got health already on me. So that's the um, lighter that we need to grab. So what's the combination for that one? Combination is 5893. Uh, 5893. And 3. Finally, we've got health and the lighter. So I need that, I use that now, and then we move on to the next, the lockers. Now the next locker, we're going to go to the, this one here, 2964. So where is he located? 2964, 2964. Oh, there he is. So, 2964. There we go. That's another inventory slot thing. And the next one is going to be 6808. No, 6805 from this guy here. So, this one is. Is that him? Or is that someone else I'm thinking of? Aha, uh, so the code is again 6805. Perfect. Now let's go back to the maintenance bay. And now from the door that says pillbox, we're now going to do 180 and go into the chapel. Mine the trap here, mine the trap to the left. So in the chapel, we're going to find the dog tag. We're going to find a key that's related to that pillbox over there. And then we're going to find the note as well. So you will get in the story related to the tune when you get into here. 
for entering the demon's cha um, chamber. So in here, you'll find a dead body, and this is a hiding spot when we need to. There'll be a key. That's for the pill box, I do believe. And then in the next building, on the next doorway to the left, or the confession booth, you'll find your next note. This will be the Lambert's Journal, part one. Now from here, on the table itself, you will find a lovely dog tag here. So now since we've got the pill box thing, I've searched all around this area, can't find nothing else. I'm getting kind of concerned now that um, I'm not finding many of these bags. I hope it's not glitched, but we should find out. But anyway, moving on. We're going to go back to the pill box area. That's located to the right side. Since we have the key to do so. Oh no, oh no. Quick, quick. Right, we're in the pill box area. So now the note will be, not the note, sorry, the dog tag will be up these ladder and in the bunker section. Granted, the whole thing's a bunker, but... There we go, there's a dog tag right here. Alright, so now for the next note, is once we leave the um, the top bunker there, after you've got the dog tag, come down the ladder, leave the fuel box door again, be careful of this damn creature. So I haven't found a way yet to get into this door. There's probably something heavy very close by, but I haven't noticed anything yet. So what I'm going to do is blow it the hell up. As we enter, quickly get the note and hide somewhere. So that is the note we just picked up. I saw the face. It's in that category as well. So So now for this note and for the dog tab, these are located once we leave the maintenance. So we don't want to go back through the hole with the three rats or the three bodies after the dog tag. That's the bad way to go. So we're going to go the other way to unlock a shortcut and then it will be in that room with the uh, dog tag and note is. So I do apologize for the extreme dark area, but we are still in the maintenance area. We're right next to the chapel. So that exit is now locked. We can't go through that way. If you head down the stairs. And in this room you will find a cluster of rats. And then you'll find a note. I recommend go for the note first. Because the uh, rat could be there. Ready to pounce. If you do the dog tags first. Also to the left you will find a flare. Conveniently placed there. So you could use that to get these rats away. That's what I did. So now we're back at the admin or the central bunker. So what we're going to do for this clip, all we're going to do is to go back to the lockers and just open the remaining lockers. We won't get all the lockers opened yet and that won't be until the very end of the video. But we may as well go to the lockers and get some more resources, what come in handy as well. And also we need to come back here for the wrench as well and that will gain us access to a few rooms.
So now from the admin room, or the safe room, if you want to call it that. Since we have the wrench, we can now go into the maintenance section. So first we're going to the officer's quarters to go to the wine gather here. Then we're going to go into the break room because we, since we've got the wrench now, we can do both things. But let's go there now. And hopefully he won't die. Well, once we get in here, there is loads of bottles that we can keep going back for, for anything we need. But in this locker here, there will be two notes. That's the first one. List of a guilty, or whatever it says. And then the next one is at the bottom one. And this one is... Noah's trans Translations? Now let's go to the maintenance section just to get the dog tag. So now let's go get the dog tag. So from the last location, go back through the hole you made. Now go up here and go into the maintenance bay. We're going to go into the break room as well. So I finally figured out how to make one of these things. Be gone, rats. They don't last very long either. So I've got to shift my arms. I'm hoping big guy doesn't come after me, but we should find out. Once. Quick, 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 in. get in. Get in the hole. Right, we're in. We kind of safe, I suppose. So now the dog tag will be located on this body, right next to where we want the way. Scurry away, bitch. There we go. That's all the ones that I can remember we need you for the wrench. Until we get to some other places. Yeah, lucky enough I actually searched around, but in the same location, we look inside one of these little hole things, we call them. Open up and we'll find a inventory pack. So I think we've got three or four now. So here we go, back in the admin room. We need to go back to the lockers to gain the two grenades that will help us proceed through the prison. So let's go get the uh, locker done and then head into the prison to get the map. So now the next guy will be over here. This will be 78, I think. 7869. So now we've got two grenades now to get access to one of the doors that we need to go through. Because apparently you can't shoot through windows in this game. Run, rabbit, run, run, run. So now here's the door here. It's locked. There is a barrel behind the door, but you can't shoot through the window. There we go. Found all maps. So now from the last location, I recommend trying to start with a creature because he will destroy doors for you. I just now actually realized that. So once you go through here, go right and you'll see a place that you can use your wrench. But before doing that, pick up the note. And now from the last location, undo the vent here with your wrench. Go inside, you'll find the note located on the table. This one is called Update on Prisoner. He's the prisoner that's got the, um, the wire cuts that we need as well. So there'll be a photo on the shelf here with many stuff that we can pick up. So 
So now what we're going to do here, we're going to release the prisoner. Because we need to get the wire cutters there. And also we're going to get the bag as well. So I think the prisoner's in this one and there's fuel in that one. You know what I should have done? I should have actually ran to him quickly. But he's a dead man. So now what I need to do now is get him aggro to me. Stay in the gas. Because he will run away. So, in the far cell, this is where he was. There will be a... You found the cutters as well, so that's the achievement for that. And then in this one would be... That's what I wanted, you know, I need fuel for the generator. So now, since we have got the cutters, we're going to stay in this gas again because he's aggro on us. Go into the storage area. So where the uh, hole was to the other center. Oh no, where is he? So now, since we've got the cutters now, we can actually go through a lot of things again. So in here should be... the bag. Now I'm going to hide. And now for the next two nodes, this is in the prison still. And once we have the wire cutters, we want to now start leaving the prison where we found the map. So this is the um, exit to go back to the main central section. So in this room with the map that we already got, look to the right and you'll find a chained up locker. Believe it or not, this is actually my last two notes I was looking for. Thank God. But for you, you'll keep going for now. There's the little sucker. And now the next one. Permission to court martial. There we go. Here we go. We have now got the wire cutters. We can now go to the officer's quarters. Let's go there now. So the off of the quarters will be where the maintenance section is as well. So we need to go down here and to the left. So if you remember, there was a room down here that we um, we gassed out because every time I blew the door open, it will destroy the gas can over here. But in this same room, there will be a chain that you can now cut. And this will reveal two notes inside this locker. That's number one about digging too deep and then the next one and it's that one right there once again we're back at the safe house we're going to go to the soldiers quarters now we need to go specifically to this place we need to go to barracks b and go in this corner so let's go there now and yes i hope the monster was chasing me again I'm trying to shift my ass to so the the footage is not that big, but so we're going to the barracks B, and in this corner here we will find a vent. Now, luckily, I brought my wrench with me. I couldn't remember if I had it or not be right in this corner. So the dark corner, but... Oh, there we go. We've got a note. Gathering of the Willing. Then right next to that, we get the bag. I didn't see this bag in here before, when I saw the note. 
So let's see if I can get this lucky again. So from the last location, we now need to go to the right side, so where we actually turn the power onto the communications. So we go through this door here. So we're not going to go through there, we don't need to. So we go in this room here, and then to the far left of this room, there will be another place that you can use your wrench as well. Don't mind me, I'm not making noise whatsoever. Out the way. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I don't hear noise, get out of here. And in here, you will find your next photograph. So now we are back in the admin room, or the safe room. We're now going to go to the tunnels now, since we have all the necessary items. So we're getting close to the end now. So let's go to the tunnels. I have no more fuel now, so I'm always running in the darkness. All we do is just keep running, and here are the tunnels. And now, just a good thing, the um, the creature now will not be able to pursue us anymore. So, as you may have already seen, I've already cleared out, or cleared, already done the, the part here so we can proceed on. Here is the next save point, and then you'll be running into a two notes and a photograph. That's number one. That's the photograph. And I believe the note is over here to the right, somewhere. So now, once we get here, we're going to grab the, the final bag. And then we're also going to grab the dog tag. And then we're going to grab this, like, rabbit thing. So along the way here, there will be a fuel thing that we can pick up. So I've already cleared out the area. Well, I say cleared out the area, I've already scouted the head. So we're going to go where the detonator is located, so we have to come here through here anyway. But right next to the detonator should be one of your satchel charger things, or your pocket bag. So now this will give you the max amount of slots. And we've got the bag, we've got the detonator, now we're going to grab the dog tag, and then the rabbit thing out here. Not too sure what the rabbit does yet, but we'll find out I suppose. We go back outside at a familiar place. This looks slightly different. So on the right side here you will find a rabbit of whatever this is. Right next to the blood you will find a dog tag. This will be your final dog tag. This will be for Lambert. And now all we have to do is go back to the, um, the lockers and grab the next note as well. 
And now time to go back to the lockers. Since we've got the final key or the final dog tag with the combination on, we can now get the last locker. So we should get two achievements here, one for finding all notes and one for unlocking all the lockers. But of course you only need 11 dog tags with the numbers on it, but there's 20 in total. Anyway, if this guide helped you, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. And if for some reason your achievement bugs like mine did, I had to do a second playthrough and just start collecting random notes and eventually it did pop for me. Hopefully this is not the case for you.